What's up guys? So in this video I'm going to tell you one of the rules that I have in life. I have a handful of rules that I always live by and one of them is never mess with another man's woman. Okay? And I know in this day and age people take that shit real lightly. Men especially. They're fucking horny like fucking dogs. No self-control and it seems like they'll just sleep with any woman that would allow them to. But the reason I have that rule for the obvious, uh, of course, it's not a cool thing to do. Uh, but more importantly, another rule I have is never do something to another man that if done to me, I would think murder is justified. And that's one of them. So you got to be very, very careful in that, guys. There are millions and billions of females out there. Don't fuck with another man's girlfriend. And definitely don't fuck with another man's wife. You will be at fault. Do not do it, okay? Out of respect for yourself, do not do it. Out of respect for the other man, whether you know him or not, do not do it. And out of respect for that woman, even if she lacks respect for herself, do not do it. All right? Now I'm going to tell you a story that applies to this that I was involved in in some way. This was um, years ago. A friend of mine came home from prison. All right? He did five years. He called me one day and asked to meet with me and told me that there was something that was bothering him. He started hearing rumors that while he was away, his wife had an affair, okay, with a guy from Patterson. So he asked me um, what my thoughts were, first of all, and if I knew the guy. So he had some information about the guy. The guy was a drug dealer, and I did know the guy. I knew the guy because this guy happened to be uh, on the streets a lot, and whenever I saw him, he'd give me free weed, okay? So the guy was cool, the drug dealer. I didn't have a problem with him, but I also happened to have his phone number, and I called him, okay? I called him, and I told him, we need to get together. I need to see you. So he told me where he was. I pulled up on the block, and I had my other friend with me in the front of the car, right? I told this other guy, get in the back of the car. So we're sitting there parked, and I turned to him, and I said, it's hard for me not to say names, guys, sorry. So I said, um, do you know who this girl is? And I gave the information to the girl. He said, yes. I said, did you sleep with that girl? And I told him, don't fucking lie to me, man, because if you lie to me, then I'm going to be your fucking enemy, and you don't want that. Tell me the truth. He said, yes. I said, this is a very important question I'm about to ask you. Did you know that she was married? He said, yes. Did you know that her husband was in prison? He said, yes. I said, you fucked up. I turned to my man in the car, and I said, go ahead. He turned around, reached over, and started fucking bashing him and destroying him right in that car. Blood shed everywhere. The guy in the back jumped out of the car, and I screamed to him. I said, don't run, motherfucker. Don't run, because it's going to be way worse for you. So as this fight's happening, now I get out of the car. We're in the middle of the street. This guy's covered in blood. My man is fucking him up. I told him, fight back. Fight back, but don't run. As this is happening, this fucking drug dealer, his brother is a cop in Patterson. And unbelievably, he rolled up in his cop car. He saw this fight happen. He didn't know who it was at first. He rolled up, and when he saw it was his brother, he pulled his gun out right away and came towards us. And I told him, I was like, yo, ho, and we had guns on us also. And I told him, this has nothing to fucking do with you, man. Get back in your fucking car and go. And these cops knew us back then. They knew who I was, right? He looked over at his brother, and his bro brother all bloodied up, his lip hanging, signaled to him. And he's like, go, go, just leave it alone. And this fucking cop got back in his car and pedaled his ass out of there and let us be, which was the right move. He did the right thing there. So... Once I saw that this guy was hurt bad, I stopped it. And I told him, listen, man, that's enough. That's enough. Get back in the fucking car to my friend. Now, to this other guy, to the drug dealer, you know, he was hurt bad. And he was, like, uh, real upset by what happened and everything. And he thought, he's like, yo, Hollywood, how could you do this to me? You know, that's fucked up, man. I, I trusted you. I said, listen, motherfucker, don't ever say that I did anything to you. You have no fucking idea what just happened here. I just saved your fucking life. This guy was going to murder you. He was going to fucking actually murder you. That's how the conversation started earlier this day. He told me he was going to fucking kill.
kill you and fucking leave you dead and cut your ass in pieces, motherfucker. So don't tell me that I fucked up. You fucked up. You did the wrong thing and you're lucky you had me. And you're lucky I had control of the situation. Because if not, you'd be dead. Learn your lesson, motherfucker. Never touch another man's girl again. Ever, ever, ever. And he shook my hand and we hugged and he respected it. He understood. And I told him, I'm sorry that this has to happen like this. But I fucking saved your life. You have no idea. So that was that. And when that happened, I told my man, I was like, yo, that's enough. This is over. Squashed. Yes or no? He said, yes. Done. And he thanked me. The point of this story, guys, is back to what I started with. You never know what another man would do to you. You never fucking know. And no matter what the situation is, it's a violation. And it's such disrespect. In my eyes, the woman is equally or more at fault. But nevertheless, they're females. We're not including them in how we're addressing things. Among men, never fucking cross that line. All right, guys? I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope you learned something from this and take my advice about this thing. Please. Thanks, guys.